Hey everyone, today we are making ice cream and I recorded this, um, I'm sorry it's not the best angle, but I recorded it because I was interested in showing you the process and how we're experimenting with things and then you can at least see what I've done and how it does or doesn't work and if you were thinking along the same lines as me, yeah, I'm just putting it out there to show you this is real life and this is kind of the process that I go through things. So I had a lactose-free light cream and a lactose-free full-fat cream in the fridge. I'd got them on markdown, so I thought I'd make an ice cream out of it. So I put both of those into the saucepan and you can see they were a little bit thick because they were starting to go a couple of days past their due date but also they've been pushed right back to the fridge where it's really cold so part of it was frozen as well so I pour both of those in and then I'm filling 600 mils of oat milk that's the daughter's oat milk that she has and then I put a little bit extra in there now the recipe I will put down below which was a base that I was using and I think I really should have gone with a recipe that I know because this recipe I only put in three egg yolks and half a cup of sugar and I probably should have done six egg yolks and one cup of sugar because that's what I've done in the past and the ice cream's been pretty good but still this was an experiment as I said long story short the ice cream turned out perfectly we were happy with that uh, it was a little though crystallized in some areas because I partially froze it and then I went to mix it up again and then refreeze it and I think I should have just left it to freeze but we live and learn and as I said I'm just sharing this as a bit of an experiment. So I added a little bit of vanilla in there as well because I was feeling fancy. <laughs> and then you stir this around until it starts getting a little bit thicker. And when you run your finger through the back of the spoon and a line stays there, then you know it's done. I don't think this was going to get any thicker because it was a light cream as well. So I figured I would just let it there, sit there and cool. And it can sort of thicken as it cools down, if that makes any sense. As I said, this is an experiment. The second ice cream we're making is a just normal full fat cream. We're gonna make this into a chocolate ice cream. So I've got the cream that's there and I added in some milk. I'm sure I did that off camera. I've got half a cup of sugar there. And then what I did with this one is I actually added about three tablespoons of glucose syrup because I read online that it really helps to keep ice cream fluffy. It didn't really kind of work it did but it didn't if it makes any sense so as I said this is just an experiment that I'm putting and also I do these things to put them out there so if there are any massive ice cream maker experts out there you can write down below and tell me what I did wrong I already know that I didn't correctly temper the eggs so you're meant to put the egg yolks into a bowl with the sugar whisk it up to it's kind of really frothy then take a cup of the cream milk mixture put it into the egg mixture when it's warm mix that together so you temper the eggs and then you pour all of that back into the pot so then you don't have any bits of egg through your ice cream because it's not cooking eggs into it and then it helps thicken up the cream and then you've got your custard base for ice cream I also do not have an ice cream maker, so I am just relying on the old fashioned stick it in the freezer and cross your fingers. I was looking to make a really dark chocolate ice cream, so I put in there a third of a cup of the drinking chocolate that we use because last time I used cocoa, tasted funny so I thought let's do drinking chocolate because that's half sugar anyway and then I broke up half of the 250 block of it I think this is compound chocolate as well and I put this in there and stirred it all up to heat it through I want to try again and make another batch eventually and then when it's kind of like cooling down try and do a mixing of some chocolate chips I've got a long uh, experimental <laughs> lifetime of ice cream 
future coming at me, I think. Oh, here's me tempering the eggs. So I've got three eggs in there and I just put out a scoop of the milk base and then put that into my bowl and then mixed it all through. It was starting to get quite warm at this point in time so I was pretty happy with that at this stage. I wanted to put all the flavours through first and just make sure I had all that ready to go and then I put the egg mixture back in there and did the same and I stirred it through until it started getting a little bit thicker. This has been sitting here chilling for about an hour. So I've poured it into the metal container so I can put it into the freezer. And I've since done some more research that says that you're meant to put the custard base into the fridge to sort of let it set and really thicken up. And then you're meant to freeze it. So again, lesson learned. But I did at least read online that you put a piece of cling rag over the top of it and then push it down to cover it so it doesn't get that slimy top on it. I did the same with the chocolate one. Don't worry, my stove top is really cool so I wouldn't be sticking a plastic container on there. And after about an hour in the freezer, it hadn't done anything and then I realized that it's in a plastic container. It's not in a metal container like the internet says. So don't use a plastic container because it's just not gonna conduct the coldness and it's not gonna chill down as fast as what you need it to. I still covered it with cling feet film because at this point in time I had no idea what I was doing and I put it in the freezer and then I sat and I was doing a little bit of research and then I figured out later that I actually do need to put it into some metal containers so I got a couple of smaller ones and I ended up putting them into those and then put them back in the freezer. Here's a storage tip for you, use a cake rack between the two of them so you've got more space in the freezer. So yes, after a couple of hours this was the ice cream pretty much not balanced at all so I transferred it into the little metal containers that you can see there. So it is the next day and we've got the oat milk ice cream that's here and it's quite hard but it's starting to soften. I've had this sitting on the bench for about 10 minutes so it's starting to melt pretty quickly. So I'm at that consistency that it's not too bad but I still needed hubby to help scoop it out. And then the chocolate one is about the same. Some parts are harder to scoop than others but overall it's starting to melt pretty quickly which I'm finding this ice cream is doing easily as well. Well. So again, a little bit more experiment to see where that balance is. It's the next day and I had a brilliant idea at midnight. Imagine if I put these as like paddle pop type things. So it would be easy to eat rather than having to scoop out all this ice cream. And plus, I really need some space in my freezer because I'm trying to do some meal planning stuff. So we think <laughs> it's a brilliant idea to scoop all of this into a blender and then we blend it up and then we put it into the ice cream molds. And look, it worked pretty well, not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, I feel that if we just had a better base to start with. Uh, the ice cream would have been a lot softer. I feel like I have seen people take it out when it's frozen and whip it through their mix master 
so that's an idea for the future these are all things that yeah I'm gonna happily experiment with I did the same also with the chocolate ice cream uh, and don't worry I made a complete mess so yeah Thanks for joining with me for my ice cream experiment. Overall, I'm really happy, but yeah, sharing is caring. Let me know any tips or tricks you have. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.